Let's write a higher order function that will determine whether or not all the items in a list satisfy a given predicate. And we'll use a function point, a pointer to represent the predicate. I'll pause for a few seconds to give you a chance to work on this on your own, and then we'll talk about it together. All right, so let's think about the different cases algorithmically before we go ahead and dive into implementation. If I have an empty list, then it's trivially true that all of the non-existent items in that list do indeed satisfy that predicate. Okay, so my first case should be if my list is empty, then I would just return true. On the other hand, if my list isn't empty, then I do actually have a node here with a datum, and that datum needs to satisfy this predicate. If it so happens that that data, datum doesn't satisfy that predicate, then it's not the case that all of the items in the list satisfy the predicate and I can immediately return false. Okay, if my current datum does satisfy the predicate, then I need to check the rest of the items in my list. And that's something that I can use a recursion for. I can just call this function recursively on the rest of this list and that will tell me whether or not the remaining items all satisfy the predicate or not. So let's go ahead and now implement that in code. Again, our first case is if our list is empty, which we represent with a null pointer. So if I have a null pointer, and here I'll use the truth value of the pointer itself, then in that case, again, it's trivially true that all the non-existent items satisfy the predicate. So I'll just immediately return true. Okay. If I don't have an empty list, then I do have a datum here. And I can check to see if that datum satisfies the predicate. If it doesn't, then it's not the case that every item in my list satisfies this predicate. And in that case, I can just immediately return false without having to check the rest of the list. And so both of these are base cases because neither of them requires recursion. The recursive case is when my first item does satisfy the predicate. Now what I have to do is I have to check the remaining items in my list to see if they satisfy the predicate as well. Okay, and I can do that with a recursive call. And all I have to do is pass the rest of the list to that recursive call. And in our implementation, the next pointer, the next member variable of the node will be pointing at the rest of the list. And I will also need to pass the predicate along so that it can call that on the remaining items in the list. And here I'll take the recursive leap of faith and assume that this recursive call will proper, properly tell me whether or not the rest of the items satisfy this predicate. And if they do, and I've already checked that the first item does, then all of them do, and I would get a true return value. If there's something in the rest of the list that doesn't satisfy this, the predicate, then the recursive call would give me false, which would also be the return value of the original call as well.